and welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Kit, your friendly feminist cat lady spinster, and today we're going to talk about patriarchy. Before we get into the video, just some quick housekeeping. I have timestamps in the description box below if you'd like to get right into it. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment. If you dislike this video, please dislike and leave a comment. Any engagement is good engagement to the algorithm. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I'm so glad you're here. My social media is linked below. I'm Candidly Kit on Twitter and Instagram. I also have a Patreon now. If you really like my content, please think about becoming a patron. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to do none of the above, that's totally fine. And now let's get back to the video. Bernadine Bluntly shared this gem on her Instagram a while back. A man who loves and appreciates women will behave like a gentleman. He will guide, encourage, demand, and protect women's femininity in everyday life. He will also protect them from false ideals and self-harm through feminism. Patriarchy is on the side of women. Feminism is not. And of course, I had to look into it. This person only has about 3,000 followers. I won't be sharing their username, but they call themselves pro-patriarchy. And they claim to be experienced, whatever that means. Early 50s, happily married. They also claim to be far beyond the ordinary and Sure, dude, but your posts are nearly identical to what other sexists say. Anyway, this account is dedicated to their thoughts on patriarchy. And interestingly enough, their thoughts on patriarchy revolve around women. Let's have a look. A woman can become one with her femininity only when she accepts the fact of being created for man, totally dependent on him and subordinate to him. There is no other way. Okay, so I guess I just won't become one with my femininity then. A husband should allow his wife to be friends with another woman only if he knows her father or husband personally and can get an idea of how she is led, what values and rules she has been taught. So to me, this sounds like two fathers arranging a play date for their children. If you do not lead and educate your wife, she will follow someone else's ideas or fall prey to the feminist Pied Pipers. Women need leadership and follow by nature. It is your job as a husband to give her this. Lead, educate, correct. Keep her on the right paths. Ah yes, because women are children. In the life of a man, there are many important and decisive days. In the life of a woman, only one, the day of her marriage. A woman does not have the mental, emotional, and physical abilities to adequately deal with and solve problems. She needs the presence of a male authority who can solve problems for her, give her security, support her, and take responsibility. Okay, this person is living in a very strange fantasy world. The often read description that submission and obedience is a gift is fundamentally wrong. It contains the false assumption that a woman can decide whether she is or not. What is correct is that submission and obedience is a woman's duty. That is, how it must be taught and expected. It doesn't surprise me to see this, and I hope everyone who says, submission is a choice I made, takes note. A woman should take every opportunity to kneel before her husband, to show that she accepts her place, to express her gratitude for his presence, authority, and headship, and to please him with her meekness, submissiveness, and reverence. So basically husbands are gods. Kneeling for her husband is for a woman not only the visual presentation of her submission, but also an emotional journey within herself to open up, accept her place, and overcome her pride. These folks have a strange fascination with humbling women. Interestingly, pride doesn't seem to be a bad thing for a man to have. I wonder why. Jealousy is negative, but it's prevented in different ways. The man is hunter, the woman prey. While he decides himself when to hunt and when not, she is always prey. She must be protected, accompanied, and restricted in her freedom in order not to be hunted or hunted down. So I didn't think I'd ever have to say this, but hunting people is bad. If you can't stop yourself from hunting people, you should be the one with restricted freedoms as you are the one causing harm. So pro-patriarchy retreated alpha masculinity because of course he did. Women should learn from their fathers and husbands. They must adopt the political and religious views of their fathers and husbands. When they have questions or want advice, leadership, wisdom, they must go to their fathers and husbands, not their girlfriends. I wonder if it's occurred to them that there are some fathers and husbands who actually don't want to control everything a woman does and thinks. Of course, obviously those men are not alpha, so. When two couples greet each other, the men greet each other first, then the men greet the women, and only then are the women allowed to greet each other. The women wait demurely and silently for their turn. The more I read of this person's Twitter, the more I think that this person wants to be in some sort of like BDSM relationship, but 24 seven and with or without consent. Every woman belongs to a man who decides over her, leads her, whose word and rules she must obey. 
Accordingly, one must deal with her. She must not be regarded as independent and autonomous, but as the property and ward of her husband. When you use the word ward to speak of an adult woman, the impression it gives is not kind of the person posting it. When dealing with a woman, remember that she is not independent, but belongs to a man who is responsible for her, leads her, makes decisions for her, and whom she must obey. Respect his leadership and always treat her as if he were present. So what happens if a woman doesn't belong to a man? She's not married, she has no brothers, her father is dead. What happens to her then? Somehow, I doubt she would be allowed to lead herself in the horrifying world this person is building in their mind. Part of being a wife is being sexually available. This is just so gross because every single thing he says has a woman dependent, like utterly, completely dependent on a man, like she is a child, but oh, nope. You are not a child. You are to be treated like a child, but you also must be sexually available. Part of being responsible with women is asking if her father or husband has given her permission to do what she is planning or doing, and if in doubt, inform them about it. But why would this person know what a woman is doing or planning to do and her father or husband has apparently no idea. How did that come about? Are you having an inappropriate relationship with this woman? Every female should support patriarchy because only patriarchy supports, promotes, protects, and appreciates femininity. You know, I have to say, being told I should be treated like a child does not make me feel supported, promoted, protected, or appreciated. Feminism makes women ugly inside and outside, AKA feminism allows women to be full autonomous human beings, not dependent on men for everything. And I just can't handle that. Unlike a man, a woman is not considered autonomous or even independent. Rather, she is always assigned to a man who leads her, who is responsible for her, who is her legal guardian and to whom she belongs. Until marriage, this is the father. After that, the husband. Well, I guess that answers my earlier question. If there's no husband, no father, no brother, a woman will simply be assigned a legal guardian, like she's a child. When you see so much of something, you begin to wonder, surely this can't be real. It has to be a parody or a satire or something. But as you know, I tend to wander through trad and conservative social media, and a lot of what is posted in this account sounds very similar, if not identical in some cases, to what those folks say. So though I hope it is satire, I'm leaning toward another man stating how he wishes women would act. Basically, another Larry Solomon married to a woman of moderate feminist background who wishes his wife was actually an empty vessel that existed just to please him instead of being a full and autonomous human with thoughts and desires of her own. And that is it for this video. I hope you have a great day, night, whenever you happen to be watching this, and I will see you next week. Bye!